Welcome to Art and Flat Mixing number 42 on an installation by Michel Francois. Here we meet a magnificent piece by Bernd Lohaus. A wooden beam, a rope, and a hook. The beam has the shape of a wedge. Here we see the installation Residence Terrestre, an earthly residence made by Michel Francois. And actually this is his very first installation um, following um, some exhibitions in which he showed his sculptures attached to the wall. At first, at Maripuk Brotarsis, he all put them on one line and in Hasselt, he put the sculptures at the level of certain body parts. And, and actually in both cases, he pushed the sculpture back into the wall. He made it two-dimensional again which is something we can see in this photograph, um, resulting from a movie in which Michel Francois rubs his own elbows on a concrete table and makes these holes. Holding his elbows in front of his face, he hides it, but he shows a new face, two new eyes. Thus we feel an attempt to push back and to reveal. The sculptures that are part of this installation, and as I said, it's the first spatial installation between the presentations in Hasselt and at Maripuk Protarsis. Um, he also once made, um, I don't know how to call it in English, une étagère, um, a shelf. He made a shelf in an attempt to make his sculptures more spatial without putting them on a pedestal. And this is the next step made for an exhibition in the Parisian gallery Jennifer Flay, which was, of course, a small space um, because it was in Paris. And actually, we have to understand that this sculpture almost covered the complete space of the gallery. And what we see are several objects such as, for example, ceramic plates with a hole in the middle, which contradicts their statue as a plate. Um, it refers to hunger in Africa for Michel Francois. Then we have a kind of pharaoh bed an Egyptian bed made of ready-made clay blocks one can purchase in the shop. I think it's an extremely elegant sculpture made for the Biennial in Sao Paulo in the 94. Next to it we see a pile of coins that erect themselves and create an axis around which space evolves. And in this sculpture we see the basic ideas of Michel um, that are, of course, that one makes a sculpture by adding or removing material, but also by dispersing or concentrating it. So in the, in the stack of plates, we see, we see a compilation. In the bed, we see also a juxtaposition of similar objects. And in the sculpture with the coins, we see a dispersion and a concentration at the same time. The sculptures in front are pockets filled with plaster to make, let's say, the empty space of the pocket present. It's a sculptural inversion. It started from trousers given to Michel Francois by his friends, so they all were personal. And from the idea that the sculptor in his studio always walks around with his hands in his pockets looking for a good idea. Of course, sculpturally, 
it's a beautiful way to make a normally invisible space visible and present. Here we see a variation of dispersion. You take one piece of paper and you try to find a way to make it more diverse, to make it disperse. Here we see, uh, let's say, a disappeared balloon, because of course this shape is made by gluing paper on a balloon um, after having, uh, uh, after blowing it up. And then of course the real balloon shrivels and uh, disappears. Here we see small lamps covered with polystyrene balls. And again we read an inversion because the lamps do not give light, produce light, but the polystyrene balls in themselves um, become the light. And then there's a variation in the middle of the installation, which is not a lamp, but a polyester shape, a massive polyester shape, colored in the mass, red colored polyester, pretending it is a light bulb. Cans that have been tinned to make them more shiny, pieces of plate, water bottles with polystyrene balls, um, holes in the cardboard, holes that reflect the shape of the coins, of course. So all the shapes refer one to another. They all reflect upon absence and presence. They all reflect upon transience, ephemerity, a momentaneous existence, an attempt to exist, an attempt to become visible. A faro shelter, faro grave, but also a barrow with a fancy fair at the carnival, a celebration of life and death, sculpturally thought, magnificent peace.